Greetings valued YouTube viewer. Welcome to my video. Today we'll be doing a tutorial for Strike Fighters 2. I've been uh, getting a lot of questions about how to find, install, and mod the game. So that's what we're going to talk about today. These instructions will be valid as of December of 2018 because that's when I'm recording this. Next step is going to be to actually unzip this guy. So here in this file I unzipped if you select, right click, here's my 7-zip, and then I do Extract to Strike Fighters 2. And uh, in this particular file, it was just this first one that opened up and gave me this. But now here's all of my uh, executables for the setups. So the next important step, and you should do this with any mod that you download and prepare to install, always check out the README. Even if it's just a quick glance, sometimes it's just very basic information that you don't need. Other times there can be very important uh, instructions for installing things in a particular order. And that's the case here. If we open up this readme, we're going to see that it tells us to install in the following order. The base game, followed by Vietnam, followed by Europe, followed by Israel, Expansion 1, Expansion 2, the Campaign Customizer, uh, North Atlantic, and then finally the 2013 update, which will be the final thing that you do. Um, you'll notice here that there's uh, a couple other, there's guns editor, weapons editor. Uh, I don't know exactly what order to install those in, but I would probably do those around the same time as the campaign customizer before you do the final update. Because if you do the final update, then it's going to give you an error message that it's the wrong version and it can't install. So once you've installed these in order, you now have the main game and all of its expansions unmodified. You now have the base game. And if we go, we can look at that and just double check it. It's under third wire, Strike Fighters 2. And we can see we have all the executables for all of the games. The thing with these games is they were designed to be standalones. You could you could buy each one independently and just have a, a full game. Clicking on the base game, Strike Fighters EXE, that's going to get you all content and that's also where we're going to put all of our mods in the folder for the base game. This is called the merged install. And that means that you can access all of the other uh, content through the main game without having to open each one individually. So now, let us find our mod folder and see about modifying this game. We're going to go to your user folder, which here in Windows 7 is uh, this is how you you reach it. You can see this is where my music, my pictures, my docs, all that stuff is. What we want is saved games. Now if you're using a later operating system, I know in Windows 10, if you just go in and do a file search under the start menu, just type in saved games and it will bring this folder up as well. So let's click on that. Here's third wire. Here are our mod folders. Now after you have installed the base game, if you were to click on one of these, this is all it contains. It contains screenshots, which is empty. This is normal. What you're going to want to do now is go to your base Strike Fighters 2 game, to the executable, and run the game. And let it initialize, and when you get to the main menu, exit back out. What you will now see will be this. You will have new folders and an options and versions INI files. And uh, there won't be anything necessarily in these, but they are now ready to receive data. And this is where the mods go. This is your mod folder. Well, except not here. You'll want to put it here in the base Strike Fighters folder. And if we open mine, we can see that I have a lot more stuff in here. We have actual, actual content in here. So, just a quick example. Let's go to a mod. Let's go to uh, let's go to Endgame. He, these are campaigns for 1974 and 75 in Vietnam. So if we click on that, here's all the content of the mod. This is a good example of a mod showing you what the proper order is for installing. I'm sure it also goes over it in the README. So we'll start with all patch levels to mod folder. And look at this, we have campaigns, effects, flight, objects, sounds, terrains. If you'll notice, these all match up with files or folders that I have over here. 
And if you don't have the folders that match over here, that's fine. You're just going to uh, copy and then paste to the mod folder. And uh, merge all folders and overwrite anything that's already in there. Now, I know some games, when modding, they are very specific about whether you need to cut and paste or copy and paste. Um, like a lot of Flight Sim uh, FSX files are very, very specific. In the readmes, they say, you know, do a cut and paste. With this game, I always copy. And I have not had any ill effects from it. So I don't think that there's any problem with that. In fact, it's, it's saved me time in the past. Because one thing that I have noticed about this game, especially if you're, if you're copying over a very, very large file, such as the... Uh, the Vietnam Gold pack that I use in my videos. That's really, really big. And sometimes the files don't transfer properly. So great example, when uh, when I started playing, the my B-52s had no textures. The models loaded in, but they were just black because they had no textures. So what I did was I came back in over here because I had only copied them. I didn't have to unpack all these files again. But if you go into objects, aircraft, you know, and then... There was a B-52, so I just recopied it back in to the objects aircraft, you know, folder over here, and uh, and it fixed it. So so if you're having problems with a mod that you've downloaded, uh, before you get crazy pulling your hair out trying to troubleshoot it, just try to recopy the files back into your mod folder. Just have them overwrite and see if it adds anything and see if that that fixes the problem because that may be a very easy fix um, before you you know, before you go down the troubleshooting path. So that is that. We've simulated copying this particular mod into the mod folder for the main game. And we can check it by going into the actual game itself. And let's do that now. It's going to initialize the system. You'll have a short load up period while it's looking over all the new material that you've added. There we go. We get into the game. We'll look at campaign. And uh, oh, well, we will create, and if we look under create, oh look, we have Linebacker 75, Ho Chi Minh Campaign, The Last Stand. These are all the 1975 uh, campaigns that we just loaded, so yes, they work, and they're in there. Just a few final words on the mod folder. One, it's very easy to remove parts or all of a mod that you don't like. You simply go in, you delete the files that offend you, and then it will revert back to whatever the stock files are in the main game. Second, it's very easy to add new mods. You simply copy and paste them, drop them into your Strike Fighters 2 folder, and have them overwrite whatever files were previously there. I recently updated uh, a couple of versions of mods. I found newer versions, just dropped them in. Now that's what plays in the game. A big plus is that the mod folder will not go away if you uninstall the games. So if you have uh, games that are corrupted, if you need to uninstall them and then reinstall them in the correct order, your mods and your saved games will not be affected. I recently had to re-upload Windows, and the nice thing was instead of having to move the entire game onto an external hard drive, I just backed up the mod folder. So that way when I got Windows back up and running, I reinstalled all the games using those installers, and then copied the mod folder back over and I still had all my save games and I still ha still had all my content which worked already because uh, you know it was the exact same thing I was using before so it's very convenient if you have to do that don't feel worried that you're gonna lose all your content just go ahead and uninstall the games and reinstall them as many times as you want they are good to go